I never saw a physician break down in tears until my son Howard died. This affects a lot of patients. It really affects their life, their livelihood, their ability to do their work, to do the things that they love. So there's a really unique role for the patient community, especially in a disease that's less known. For patients diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis, time is critical. That's why Yale partnered with Three Lakes Foundation. They understand the impact of the diagnosis and are working to inspire hope in patients suffering with the lung disease. They are doing this by collaborating and uniting with researchers and institutions to accelerate the development of promising new technologies and treatments. It is a cause and a message that is bigger than all of us. Pulmonary fibrosis really deserves different recognition. Pulmonary fibrosis is a rare disease, and so that's part of the issue with lack of funding. You can increase disease awareness, so you can really make a tangible difference. Pulmonary fibrosis is a progressive fatal lung disease affecting some five million people worldwide, maybe more. The disease was insidious. We knew that my son was going to die. Art Kirschenbaum lost his son and his wife to the disease. She died December 2012, and shortly after that, we discovered that my son, he reported that he also had pulmonary fibrosis. He died almost exactly two years later in the same ward at Yale New Haven with the same physician. I can tell you that watching him die was a hell of a lot worse than watching my wife die. The heartbreak and loss is felt by patient and physician alike, and is magnified by frustration over a lack of awareness and funding to fight the disease. This is a disease that 50% of the patient will die within three to five years. The other thing, the disease is concentrated. So in certain ages, around 60, 70, it's actually more common than many of the cancers all of us are afraid of. Loss of a family member to pulmonary fibrosis and frustration over the diagnosis and lack of treatment options led to the motivated, real efforts to make changes. It's incredibly important that we have foundations like the Three Lakes Foundation that can really help us bring recognition, bring funding, and really move the field forward. I think their focus on accelerating therapeutics, increasing awareness, making a measurable difference in the life of patients with pulmonary fibrosis is really exciting. Foundation funding, technology, and collaboration resulted in dramatic innovation. To start doing the pulmonary fibrosis atlas, we wanted to do this technology of being able to profile every single cell in the pulmonary fibrosis lung to understand how abnormal they are, to try to start thinking how we can fix them. Through high-resolution mapping, they've created a cellular blueprint of the human lung. We've never studied them at this detail, and that's a completely new area of research. And discoveries of completely new cell types. But I committed to Tree Lakes that we'll put the data public before we publish it. The Pulmonary Fibrosis Cell Atlas is now an easy-to-use web tool for anyone and everyone. And we did it. It's hard to assess the impact. I know there's been around 20 new discoveries just in our field, in pulmonary fibrosis, from this publicly available data. Innovation is leading to drug discovery and the repurposing of drugs. This is incredibly important because the two medications that are available on the market can slow progression and do have some side effects. They're not perfect medications, though they're better than what we used to have. We need new medications that are better, that can halt the progression of fibrosis, that can have fewer side effects. And this is what we're working on here. And the idea is that drugs that reverse fibrosis in this computational method could be prioritized for clinical trials. More patient participation in clinical trials is a necessity as researchers work to slow the disease and provide hope for those who have already suffered enough. You're not supposed to see your children die, and that was terrible, terrible, terrible. The Three Lakes Foundation is really helping us accelerate time from discovery to patient care, and that's what is vital. That's really important because in the future, we would like to diagnose the disease early so that we can design interventions that cure it. <laughs>